Alright everyone, the post game continues on. We are back with more of Pokemon Ultra Sun post game. And last time I've shown you guys how you can get your hands on some special Pokemon as gifts. But now the journey we can finally continue on. Why? Because now we'll be exploring the Pony Grove. Here... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what the? Well, turns out I didn't get this UB after all. Alright then, let's get this and get it over with. Because I need to make sure I get this extra in so I can get Stack Attacker. Turns out we forgot it. We may as well get it and get it done. No, this thing's like a bunch of ghosts, huh? Fine. Fine. Fine, I'll just use a no effect move and then use a beast ball. Yeah, I bet this city I wasn't going to stand a chance either way. No worries. Once we get this, then I can trade it in for a stack attacker. Or is this the only place where you actually can get a Placephalon? That is weird. All right. Let's make sure we get it. Booyah! Good. At least with this, now I can trade it to Ultra Moon to get my hands on a stack attacker. And then I can be able to complete the decks faster this way. Very nice. Sorry to sit away, but it's Stacia ended up having to be used as a sacrifice. Calm natured. That is lame. Send it to a box! Alright, now it's back to normal. Alright, let's save our game so that way I can actually now have both Lacephalons so I can make use of it during trading. Alright, now that we're back on our feet, I think it's time for us to be on our way. Now I can explore this place the way it's meant to be. And battle trainers have decided to get in my way. Well, like this guy, for instance. My Pokemon is tough as nails. You want to find that out? Let's do it. Yeah, there's another reason why we're here to begin with. Because there is another legendary Pokemon we can get our hands on. And he brings out his Nian Shao, the evolved form of Nian Fu. I used to own that as a Pokemon on my team during Gen 6. Alright, Leaf Blade. Start smackity wackity. There's a reason I train so much. I'm deflated. I've lost all heart. Not your fault. We did your bet. You did your best. Oh yeah, you're supposed to move around here. Hmm, who would want to face me now? Oh, a Trumbeak. You're not even worth the time. Alright, there you go. Now we can explore the rest of the way. Let us see where our journey will take us. Because, yeah, I want to get this finished so I can... Alright, you want to battle? Let's go! Ready, set, go! Ready, set, be prepared to hand me my prize money. These ace trainers are no laughing matter. And he starts off the fight with a hunt tail. They're level 56, but I'm level 75. My team makes mincemeat out of yours. All right. Next, it sends out a Marowak. We're using Alola versions, right? This pretty much is the case. 
fine. Malatek, you've been out here long enough, I may as well bring you out. You're like way higher than all of us put together. This is what happens when every one of my other Pokemon end up getting wiped for one reason or another during the Ultra War Punts. But at least by this point, I'm strong enough to handle anything. And he brings out the Braviary. My mascot. Ironic, isn't it? And yeah, that's my mascot for you. I just kind of like it. Alright, let's just zap it and get it over with. My soul hurts a bit every time I take down a Braviary. It really does stink. But what can you do? Game, set, match. And we have arrived in the next area. This is the Pawnee Plains. And it seems we have an opponent in our midst. What? You want a little tete-a-tete -tete with a Z-powering user like yours truly? Then become the number two trainer in all of Pawnee Plains. And that... Oh, I know what that means. We have to fight against every single trainer that wants to get in our way. Alright. I guess if you want it, you got it. Bill Tank. I did not catch this thing. And I'm gonna catch it right now. And it's at level 56. Okie dokie. Yeah. Simple. Now I got Miltank. Wish I'd gotten it way back in Route 4. I still need to get a cast form from the Sun version. Alright, we got Miltank. Number 171. Honestly, it makes sense because cows are females and bulls are males. It produces over 5 gallons of milk a day. The higher the quality of the pastures it lives in, the richer and taster, tastier its milk becomes. Good. Send to a box. Oh, and it actually has a mobile milk. Refreshing milk. And it also has one of the more annoying abilities. Because when I think of Miltank, I think of bad memories at Goldenrod Gym. I've completed trials and grand trials. Now I aim for an even higher place. Like me kicking your butt, is that it? Hmm. So who do we got to deal with today? Oh, right, he sends out a Gorbis. Alright, Decidueye, I leave things to you. Deliver the pain. Use Leaf Blade. I make this look like a joke, everyone. And now it's gonna send out Lorantis. Oh, wait. Wait a minute, didn't we? Oh, wait. In my physical version, I have a Lorantis. And yeah, having a Lorantis on my team in that physical version was fun. Training it was the easy part. Evolving it was the hard part. It was the hard part because you have to level it up at level 35, and it has to be during the day. That's how I can be able to get Solar Blade in the first place. Were the trials you completed more densely packed than the ones I did? I make it look easy, my dear. I'm a pro at what I do. At least I'm grateful my channel's getting better. Nice, we found carbs, which boost our speeds. Or rather, boost speed. Alright, who else wants some? Am I really surprised? You're not worth my time. I'm a few levels higher than you. You should at least know that by now. Wait, who wants to snag on me? 
Oh, if it isn't Master Splinter. I have to make that joke somewhere. At least my commenters were nice enough to tell me why Jason Biggs left. Alright, so who else do I gotta contend with around here? There's gotta be other trainers I can take on. But I think there's also a place we can go. There's a place we can go so we can get our hands in. Who's this? Okay, who dares to get myself involved? An A-Pom! Well, the timing couldn't get any better than this. Another Pokemon I can catch. Fine by me. Quick Ball, activate. Although I still remember that old critical capture fit. Okay, looks like that turned out to be less easier than I thought. Fine. Fine, I'll just have to weaken you then. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. False swipe. I'm surprised that Apom actually gets an evolution, like, sometime around in Gen 4. I personally felt, honestly, my personal favorite gen is Gen 5. I don't care what anybody says. People say that Generation 5 is garbage, but I disagree. I enjoy Gen 5, because Gen 5 gave us at least a believable story, a good amount of challenge, and what made it even better, I loved everything about it. Yeah, I said it. Don't at me. Come on. Really, you're being really, really lame today. Last Resort only works on attacks that, or rather, it's only useful if it already used up all its other attacks. That's why Last Resort is so devastating. Alright, got me the Apom. As predicted. Not bad. Number 368. As it did more and more with its tail, its hands become clumsy. It makes its nest high in the treetops. Nice. Send to a box. I wonder what else do I gotta deal with. Yeah, Resolution Cave straight ahead. And there's also another flying Pokemon to deal with. Wait, who did we anger? You, Pharaoh, you're not worth my time. Get lost. Oh, wait. Okay, we get the item at least. That's a Comet Shard. We can sell that for a profit. Oh, I get what, what all this is. A trainer up there that wants to do battle, huh? And you! Challenge accepted! If it wants to play, then let's play! I'm up for a challenge. At least not for that. Yup, this thing's exerting its pressure. That's not a good sign. Fine. Wait, Sky Drop! Wait, that thing's a two-hit move and it interrupts the first and then smacks me in the second. You know, the damage wasn't really that good. But you still are lame because your defenses are absolutely whack. Nice, Vega Volt to level 77. Milotic at 80. I don't really care. Conflicts produce nothing, but from Pokemon battles springs a sense of mutual respect. I have to agree. 
I have to agree with you on that greatly. Pharaoh, what do you want now? I swear I wish I had some repels right now because I don't like dealing with Pokemon. Especially wild ones. Unless it's Pokemon that I can catch. What's this? A Kimonium Z. Nice. Just make sure you don't forget that. Wait, we don't have enough room. Wait, and we get a power anklet. Yeah, these must be one of the power-based items. What are you looking for, yo? That sounds like Team Skull, doesn't it? In a way, it does. What brings you around here, officer? Police officer sheriff. Never mind. Looks like he brings out a Stoutland. And attack drops due to Intimidate. Alright, the Leaf Blade can actually help. Wow. How unfair. You know, that was not the best strategy. You know what? You deserve at least this. Get smacked with a superpower. Goodbye. Nice, to see I leveled up to 76. And two can level up 77. Are you for real, yo? I am for real, good sir. We did our best. Yeah, this is all I can do since, let's be honest, most of my team is pretty much whacked out due to the sudden influx of level changes. Okay, who else wants some now? Again? Not worth the trouble. Moving on. Really, do we have to deal with the bird brain right now? Fine. Out of my way, Firo! Whatever, let's just move on. Because I hate having to be quiet most of the time. Okay, we head right through here. This is our next location. Who are they? How are you, Jose? I heard that you became the Alola champion. Congratulations. While you were getting stronger doing the island challenge, we were looking in the Z power ring. It's so mysterious to be talking about mega evolution here in a region so far away from Kalos. But we are trainers. Rather than explaining it all in words, why don't we just show you what mega evolution is? So it seems that we have to face off against Dexio. And he's got five Pokemon. First one he brings out is an Espeon. And my Salazzle pretty much will not stand a chance. Despite the fact that it's 16 levels higher. Malamar, return to me comrade. Yep, see what I mean? It does not work. Unleash the Fury! Send in the Night Slash. Wait, Dazzling Gleam? It only is super effective, does like half of it. But not entirely, because Espeon goes down without much effort. And it next sends out a Raichu. Fine. 
And this one is also a psychic type. I thought it would be the regular Raichu. Oh, Light Scream. It's stronger against special attacks. That still will not save you. And now it sends out... Yeah, this guy's running psychic types. This one's a slow king. Fine, knock it silly. Use Night Slash. Oh, that one's a two-hit kick. Wait, it, got, wait, it packs Flamethrower? Really? It says, when does a water type use Flamethrower? That makes no sense. You go down anyway. All right, Salazzle, you leveled up. Good. Now it sends out a Metagross. Which one's a Psychic and a Steel type? Fine. I'll let this handle it. Return to me now, Malamar. You did your best. All right. Use Flamethrower. Wow, it actually withstood that well enough. That's nuts. And, but it did not withstand a super effective Zen headbutt. That is devastating. Whatever. Malamar, I'm counting on you. I doubt it can withstand this. Use Night Slash! You know what I mean? You go down too quickly. Good work, Malamar. You leveled up to level 78. And now it sends out its last Pokemon, Alakazam. And I remember owning an Alakazam during my Sun Run. And yep, I got this weird feeling he's got something planned. I know it in my gut. Fine, let's do a Beep Blast. As I thought, Mega Evolution. Mega Evolution was a concept that was introduced in Generation 6. And Generation 6 really changed the metagame up with the Mega Evolving. But it also makes Alakazam even more deadly. Special stat just took a nosedive. Yeah, but that won't save you against this. Exactly. My Pokemon each gave it their best. So did we. The trainer holds the keystone, the Pokemon holds the Megastone, and that's how you can make your Pokemon Mega Evolve during battle. You can use a Z Power Ring, so you must be able to use a keystone that makes Megastones resonate. If you have a keystone, you'll be able to make your Pokemon that hold a Megastone Mega Evolve. This is a Megazone that makes Alakazam Mega Evolve. It's called an Alakazite. I'll give the keystone and an Alakazite to you. Thanks for the keystone. I always love the theme when you get a Mega Stone. You know, when you think about it, the Z Power Ring helps the feelings of a trainer reach their Pokemon so it can use a Z move, right? It only follows that it should be able to achieve Mega Evolution too. We'll be taking our leave for research now. Bon voyage! We'll be seeing you guys much later. And there's pretty much a good reason for it. Now I gotta fix up everything, because that battle really took a lot out of me. And the only reason why I'm giving it an amulet coin is so that way I can be able to, e like, get more money out of it. Because I wasted a lot of my money trying to catch all the legendaries. Should have just waited till I was, like, level 100. And now we're about to reach the Pawnee Meadow. And this place also is home to called Resolution Cave. And that one is where we'll be getting our hands on the next legendary, Zigard.
I gotta make sure I do the same with all this once I'm done. And this is where we're heading. There's the cave up ahead. And this one nets us a power lens. Oh yeah, you gotta go around. Yep, this here is a challenge onto ourselves, onto itself. Mistrevis. Oh, I'm gonna look forward to catching you. Groovy. That made it easy. I thought using a quick bow would be better, but this is nice. Alright, so now we have Mr. This. This is number 372 in the decks. What gives meaning to its life is surprising others. If you set your ear against the red orbs around its necks, you can hear shrieking. That is kind of nice. Send a box. I always say that because I got too many Pokemon as it is. Now we head onwards. Onwards into Resolution Cave. And yeah, this one's also home to Pokemon. I swear I wish I would have bought Max Repels for this. Alright, let's get Mudsdale for this job. We're supposed to head to the lower levels. And there's even trainers here. Alright, let's do it. My outward face is that of a backpacker. What about my inward face? Your inward face is that of a trainer who's just gonna be beaten. Fine, let's see what you got. And he brings out a main neck trick. Alright, Desidui, I'm counting on you. You know what, let's not waste any time. Let's just go straight for the spirit shackle. Because I would rather take the fool down in one hit than waste time. You guys are strong, so I could not steal a glorious victory. We do what we can. And this net says TM26. Which teaches Earthquake. Nice. Another trainer in our sights. Let's take it on. In this case, I'll ask you, what do you think a mountain is? And this one we take on a hiker named Travis. And he sends out Doug Trio. Right? Let's just smack it around with a leaf blade. Well, it wasn't that hard. And he's about to send out a Mudsdale. Honestly, since that's not a good enough plan. We'll just keep smacking you around with super effective attacks until you go down. What strength! Just like a mountain!
Not bad. Oh, apologies. I'm just gotta pay attention. I'm just paying attention to my phone. So now all we gotta do is head to the lowest point right here. Now why are we here to begin with? Oh come on! You just had to interrupt the moment. A Noivern. Jeez, I ain't dealing with that, and it's got Frisk. That would be useful if I encounter Pokemon with items. Very useful. This is the legendary Pokemon in question. This is Zagard. Yeah. Now, let's get it. But this Zagard is in its 50% form. Never thought you'd see a Kalos legendary Pokemon here in a game like this? Remember back in Pokemon... Wait, this wild Zagard reversed all other Pokemon auras? That's saying a lot. And this one is now using Land's Wrath. Unfortunately, that is weak. Oh, you're shrouding yourself with safeguard, huh? That's not gonna help you. Remember back in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon where you have to get all those Zygarde cores and how much of a hassle that was? I never bothered. I never bothered because it was just kind of stupid. However, here in this case, they, you can now be able to catch the guard. But this is in its 50% form. I only hope they make it easier on us and just give us the rest of it, so that way we can have a Zygarde 100%. Safeguard's not gonna save you. Now I'm gonna catch you so I can get this over with. This was also the same place where I tried to catch a Guzzlord. UB05. And that was a hassle on itself. People whine and complain that they were able to get it easy work. Ah, please. Don't give me any of that junk here. Yeah, and it's still my most watched video of my son playthrough. That's the irony. One, and you decide to really test my patience. Here's the thing. We're in a cave. It's nighttime. Make sure the dust ball can please be fair. And unfortunately, it decides not to be fair. Did I forget to mention its capture rate is around 3? And yeah, the Land's Wrath is a ground type attack, so if you have a flying type, it means absolutely nothing. Nope, you really don't want to make. Oh my, an intimidating glare. Well, that's bad. Come on! This is just as embarrassing as trying to catch UB05 Glutton. And that was back in Pokemon Sun. Come on! Are you kidding me? Are you bloody kidding me? One, two, three, still nothing! Come on, game! I just want to get the rest of this playthrough done so that way I can do my system transfer to the new 3DS XL and I can use my regular 3DS just to finish up old projects. And now you decide to get on my nerves and do this? Game, you're really getting on my last good nerve and I truthfully hate that. Zygarde can't be this annoying to catch, can it? And it hangs by a thread. A very small thread. And that thread continues to snap. Uh, now that thread snapped. Back with it. 
And it toughed it out. You know what? That deserves a full restoration. Now you're completely healed. That's your reward for actually saving my skin. Now let's make sure we get you and get it over with. Two and still nothing. This has to be some kind of sick. This is a. This is just a sick joke. Game, you're taunting me after everything I've done, it. and I haven't even touched this game in like what two months? I still haven't finished it. Yeah, this game is really taunting me. This game is taunting me. This game is getting on my nerves, and what makes it worse is that it's now annoying for me to get. This is my third my third video that I have to do. I still have a few more before I finally put an end to it. Where's a Master Ball when I need it? Because I swear that's what I really want. I should've just thrown it at the Zagard and get it over with. But I wasted it on a Mewtwo because it was tradition. And that's still not cutting it. I'm lucky my hands ain't suffering a cramp. Every bloody time. Come on. Am I wasting all my Ultra Balls just to catch one annoying Zygarde who can't learn when to give up? And I'm 16 levels higher. I don't even know if a Nest Ball is going to work. Twenty already, and this is still annoying. Fine. I'll see if I use a Nest Ball. If I get lucky on that, I am going to laugh my butt off. Do I really even have to ask? This is so bloody stupid. See what I mean? I don't even have any timer balls because without them, I can't even catch it even if the battle does go a long time. The game is testing me, I swear. It's testing my patience. I just want to get it so I can move on. Come on. And yeah, you're actually seeing my reactions. Rather hearing it. How this thing survives, I will never know. I'm not questioning it. And did I forget to mention this has a capture rate of 3? I did mean that. You did your best, Isidui. I am proud of you. If I had a timer ball, I would have been done with this already. Let's just catch it and get it over with. Oh, so now you decide to be nice to me? Now you decide to be nice to me after all that trouble? Jeez, game, you're really a pain in the keister. Thanks a lot, game. You were just an annoyance. At least I got Zigar at last. This one is a legendary number 263. Yep. This is Zigar's form when it's about half of its pieces have been assembled. It plays the role of monitoring the ecosystem. Go fig. Let's check its stats though. And this one is a neutral nature. Honestly. Send to a box.
Thank God that's done. And I wonder what am I supposed to do with it. Well, we can figure that out later. Because thank God that's done. Now let's get the heck... Oh, wait. This is... This is the area where we did fight... Zigard. Yeah, you're right. Noivern. I need to get an escape route. I need to just get an escape route fast. Okay, I'm not spending another minute here. Oh, thank goodness for that. Do I still have escape ropes? I think I do. Not the eject button. Yeah, I do. I'll use it. Now let's get out of here. Thank God that's over with. And let's also get this. This is a power herb. And that's also a purple nectar. But man, oh man, that was something else. But I will admit, that was fun. But unfortunately, our work within the Pony Wilds is not finished. We're not finished yet. You want to know why? Because, well, Zagar took up a lot of my time. And I need to gear myself up to get my stream ready. So, next time in Pokemon Ultra Sun, we'll be exploring the rest of the Pony Wilds and taking on two very familiar challengers. Yeah, or I'll just save it for a separate video. That's what I'm gonna do. Just like I did in Pokemon Sun, because tradition. So yeah, next time on Pokemon Ultra Sun, we're gonna continue exploring the Pony Plains and seeing what the rest of it has in store. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me, and I will see you guys next time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. I need a breather.